it's it's that time of the day again where the fires are burning in the in the ocean really another pirate ship just got confused and entered my territory she still demands 70,000 credits i'm sorry i'm not going to do this let's have a look at the loot and welcome back to <laughs> to n800 extreme that is at least on extreme settings and we continue onwards with yeah with a new production chain that we have prepared now with the reinforced concrete coming in, in the last episode and those engineers they have their coffee now we don't need spectacles light bulbs and electricity for electricity oh wait a second oh there's nothing for the electricity we actually need oil the problem is these are my oil springs in sleepy hollow yeah that's that's right that's the one and we can't even combine them right this is not possible so i would need to build two oil refiners to get one oil spring out there respectively holy cow he demands 110,000. Sean, i'm not doing this we do have a bunch of clippers so what we can do and will do now is i would like to get the oil production prepared in the new world All right so we're not doing this in sleepy hollow this is crazy um, I'm going to I'm going to move the whole thing to the new world. We got the oil springs there. However, I will need my reinforced concrete. How much? 10 tons it is for this. 15 tons, so 25 tons we need um, for the oil infrastructure. So it's 25 tons, right? And then we're going to need some steel beams and more steel beams than anything else. The rest we actually have in the new world. We have the bricks, we have the timber. So I don't really care about this. So let's just get 150 tons over. This is too much, of course, but l better be safe than sorry. And let's get this over and we're only really at both the pirates so i'm not really expecting anyone here to attack my my mighty clipper as it moves out this is one preparation that we do this is going to take quite some time before we can activate that so in the meantime we can actually focus on other things the one that i would look forward to the most is of course upgrading we have a lot of farmers still um a good population there that we can upgrade so there's a especially a bunch of farmers here still right um that we can boost since we have constantly now reduced continuously now reduced the amount of um of farmer uh, workplaces right we really don't have a high need anymore of these guys so this is my most important one and then i would also like to continue reducing my work population a bit and this is something we can also do easily here in the city center so there we have for example still some still some farmers here right and also here, I guess. And this is then artisans that we can also get in addition. Boosting artisans is important because we do need more engineers. And you can only do this if you have enough artisans. Always nice. Ooh, look at that. A legendary item. Captain Richard Moses, skipper of schooners. Movement speed increase for our ships is increased by 25%. Self-repair is increased by 500%. This is super mighty, right? Um, 220,000 selling price is also not something you should neglect. That's a that's a choker card that we got there from a pirate. So this is why I love me some pirate hunting. The loot is phenomenal, right? We also having here the chance of illnesses reduced, and all police station maintenance costs is reduced, or all residences gain happiness, and yeah, that's it. A study for man. Actually, also not such a bad item. Um, influence wise we're going with the consumption reduction a bit of finances there and financial powerhouse we keep as a standard one we actually get a bit of um, influence back there thanks to this to this good favorable newspaper article all right this one comes in mm, I'm just once again very curious what we get eh, all right spectacle maker this is not so good we might actually sell it quite busy the area that we have here right there's lots of traffic we also got the 15 tons of weapons now the next thing i would like to prepare then of course is now the steam shipyard then so this is 75 uh, tons of reinforced steel however um what we need to do is also boosting my steel production in general a bit right so we are we are a bit low on this uh, how is it looking there with my iron yeah it's low right we have the three iron here do i have iron anywhere else we might have a new problem. Uh, there's one iron mine that we can do in Clampton. And Clampton haven't even started with anything yet. Uh, we do have a base work population that I can work with. Also, there's zinc and limestone. Plus a bit of space. But that's about it. Hmm. Tricky. I could do this, right? That's like four tons more iron. It's small. But it's fine. 
let's go ahead and get this one over. Uh, a bit of, yeah, a bit of bricks, a bit of steel beam. That's really it. Get this to Clampton to start it, right? But that's it. We don't have any more iron ore. So what we can do still, of course, is boosting productivity. And this only gives me a negative one. So I think this is the one that I would like to favor right now. And this is boosting my iron already by four. Um, actually by six. And with that, we have 18 to 14. That's fine. And oops, the other one is the coal. And for that, let's just check out my other islands combined. We actually have a nice coal production. Is it? Is it not getting over here? Mm, I mean, we'd have some coal in. There are actually four here. Where's my coal trader? Do you? Nope. Is it you? Nope. Where's my coal trader? Do we not have a coal trader? There it is. But it's not enough coal. I think... Oh, that's actually Brownwell. Where's my coal trader for... We haven't established it yet. Huge mistake on my part. I'm super confused there. All right, we need a new coal trader. We have the red pepper and beef. This is actually something where we don't need that volume, right? Look at that. It's seven tons per hole right now, and it's not getting that much closer. Um, so let's actually pump this one full with coal, right? A little dread you're going on this journey now for this very most important thing. And let's actually head him back. Load the coal ourselves. And then put him back online, right? So he will then automatically replenish that. Alright, a bit of more skirmishes down here. Someone got too close to my flamethrower. That's okay. My ship still survived. My clipper hasn't arrived yet, right? And then we can decide where we want to have that oil. Either in Salsa Verde. There's 11 oil fields. And there's 16 oil fields in Santiago. I think I would like to go with Santiago. It's also very close to the beach. Potentially a very short route here that we can have for also minimal material cost that's something meanwhile we have arrived here so this is actually something i would like to do right now where's my iron oh it's on the other side you are kidding me there you go and with that we can get the iron mine on its way plus a warehouse right it's super small trade rod really and morning dew will probably do this for now we can also have the fur here zinc and limestone if we continue with the expansion but right now i don't need that i just want to get that now over right we can make a direct route via kalenborg and get the iron ore over let's actually have it just just to be safe there for this and morning dew you are going to do this very small trade route but important so because it's more than four tons per minute that we get out of this one here all right next up uh we do want to prepare the next the next production right and the next production as i said is the spectacles and the light bulbs both of them are going to be tricky because both of them need space the spectacles will need the brass smelteries and this is a worker factory so this is actually something we probably will do in admiral's demise i can't put more on sleepy hollow right so this is also where the first time i'm considering now the commute pier um that we are going to have at least between admiral's demise and sleepy hollow it's going to be necessary at some point because i will need to outsource some of these productions over these spectacles will need artisans uh, engineers, sorry, even, right? And I certainly... I mean, for this... How many spectacles do we need right now? It's still zero, right? So the demand is slow. It will probably go to four long-term-wise. Even then, that would be a lot, right? So I could probably squeeze in some three here. If I'm super tight. Yeah, three is possible there. And make this work. It's still not a lot of spectacles. And with that, hmm, we don't have a room to, to boost it then. With the additional iron coming in, by the way, we can continue with the furnace production. Um, ah, yes, yes. Once again, this is the space problem then that we have. So I can do another thing now. I'm going to get rid of the sheep farm and the sailmaker in Sleepy Hollow. We're going to have this on Admiral's Demise. And with that, I will be able to squeeze in, yeah, a whopping two additional furnaces right unfortunately here we're pretty bound by the ah, very good three is these actually and there is also our warehouse already let's actually get ahead and also have the roads upgraded a bit we will need to upgrade these warehouses further but that's okay and let's build me two more there you go we definitely want to get that steel flowing 
on the other side of the island. Meanwhile, Future Stone has arrived. I'm going to pack this one full with some basic materials, so steel beams, uh, more bricks, of course. Get all of this over here to Admiral's Demise, because we continue onwards now of making Admiral's Demise my basic industry area. And the trade will intensify between those islands, for sure. Ah, very good. Always happy to take down an, a, a pirate ship there. Mm, sand mine. So Peter, workforce required. So this is basically an automation now. No workforce is required anymore for sand mines. It's a minimal workforce production. Though. Let's build two more clippers. I need them. And by the way, let's build another ship of the line then once I have the timber in again. Also something important. Now in Admiral's Demise, we continue onwards with the industrial expansion. In this case here, I would like to move now the bakeries and the flour mills away. They're super low um, effort, right? And it's also 4 to 9, I think it is. So we basically just need... What's my... My bread working anyway. We have a huge surplus there, right? But Admiral's Demise will also have its own bread consumption by now. So yeah, we can actually copy this one to one. And just get over. And yeah, actually just copy this one to one. As I said, we can just take the whole thing like this. And move it over. To get it somewhere online here, right? Probably in this industry zone that we already have. Uh, combining it with my schnapps distilleries would probably be a nice a nice area. So I can have it like that. Yeah, perfect. And with that, we have this production here, basically. And we can actually build it right away. The only thing, the only thing that we still need here now is... The commute pier. For that, I need a few more windows. Because, of course, we want to get the worker over. And I will also need to redirect my grain farm uh, delivery now. So we are delivering now the grain not to Sleepy Hollow anymore. But we are delivering it to um, Admiral Semise. And this is a tricky one, right? So we will need to put some waypoints in there um, to get this over. Yeah. And Endearment is still having potatoes on board. Just say the word. Like what? There you go. We don't need that. Right. The hops are also still coming to Sleepy Hollow, but with that, we'll also be going to be able to move the breweries away from here. That's what I also would like to do, right? So we are also redirecting the whole hops uh, production now that we have. And for that, we'll need a new trade route because the venture still delivers the, the building materials. So we're going to say now, take actually two times the logs and the timber, right? And then we're just creating a new trade route now for the hops. From Pont to Admiral. And this is another very important logistic here. Because with that we can redirect two full um, industries. And Andromeda was just finished. So Andromeda is going to be on this job. Where's the waypoint? There it is. Yeah, these waypoints are not very easy to see. Perfect. I continue onwards with a few more engineers. Um, in this case, probably over here. The artisans, once again, it's pretty hard actually for me to see the difference between workers and artisans with these gothic um, ornaments that we have. So uh, probably here somewhere. There it is. This this is engineers, perfect. Uh, this one too. Yeah, very good. And let's give them a proper design as well. And you know what, we have plenty of bricks, so let's go ahead and just upgrade us those roads. All the way up there, to make this a bit more city-like. I love that road upgrade tool. Times before that were very dark. Since we're calculating in now the um, spectacle production, right, we're going to have them on Admiral's Demise, they don't need electricity so anything that doesn't need electricity really um will be on admiral demise bicycle factories for example need electricity and the light bulb factory for example we could also have them here it's a very cheap production anyway i mean it's not cheap it's an easy production but for the spectacles we do need the zinc and the copper the cool thing is we already have two zinc deposits in admiral demise so this is perfect we just now need two copper uh, supplies and look at that Paul has it too and you know what we also have in Paul the hops and the hops is already being delivered to Admiral Samai so we can combine this now that is the the copper that I'm taking in addition here to the hops these very important resources go to Admiral Samai now and we can then actually go crazy with the hops here however the hops will need uh, some reinforced concrete and some windows so we get that over 
And there's the resources in port. By the way, have you noticed port has a, an insane natural beauty? If only there was tourism for natural beauties. Look at that hiking area up there. Fantastic. I could definitely see myself spending a lot of time on this. All right, enough with the daydreaming right away. And we have the resources in for those two copper mines. And the cool thing is also we have the space production of workforce of workers 50 and the copper mine needs 25 so we don't even need to do anything other than just placing those two mines here and it'll work already it produces two copper per minute that's already fine and we could actually build them right away since the cost is actually the cost is not that that low but we're going to need the brass for quite a few things right so i might actually let's start with one the trade rod is active already, so this is fine. The only other thing uh, that we will need here then is, yeah, uh, a few more storages. Or I could also go ahead with an upgraded harbor area. That's 75 more tons. Let's do this. And I can still build me that copper mine now. Perfect. Another thing out of the way. And this actually leads us now to have the brass smelteries then here in Admiral's Demise. Once again, we need a perfect zone for this. And yeah, this actually looks fine for me. We could also have it all the way over here in the farm area. But nah, I think this will be fine anyway. And yeah, for brass smelteries, we do need... I'm actually going with 8 for now. And I think this will be pretty fine long-term wise. We're going to need brass as well for the steam motors then, right? That's another production. But I think this should be fine already. Um, there might be room for a a trade union. There you go. Like this. Right. This will take all of them in here as well. And this whole area. That's fine for me. And with that we can also have the spectacle factories. And let's actually start with four of them as well. Right. So we can have one here. Um, and then probably another two. And three. Right. And then we have... Probably two strong warehouses then in this area as well. Looking good. And with that, we have the bicycle, fa uh, the, the spectacle factory. One more thing we need, and that's the glass makers. I would have dedicated glass makers for this. We have a nice beach area over here, and for that, I can then go ahead and have my sand mines. Probably something like. Where is it? End? Can we do this like that? Unfortunately, once again, because of that coastline, that's okay. But this is still working out. So this gives me three already, which is more than we need, right? And then I need uh, around, yeah, two glass makers. We can also make it work with three. Let's also have them up there, actually, because there we already have then the, the space. One here, one here, and one here. There you go. Also tightly squeezed in. And with that, the whole production is basically finished, and we just need to build it once everything is coming in. The steel surplus is there, we have enough cement, so I would also like to bump up my reinforced concrete production now. Let's build another one. And we might actually, before I build another one, we might actually just boost it by 25%. And with that, I don't need this one here for now. And this should lead to a nice, comfortable bump for we produce now per minute. Another industry that I'm moving over is then my beer production. For that, we have the malt houses and the breweries. And with that, the next production would then be over. However, before I can all make this all work, of course, we do need the workforce. So for that, we can also now start with the first commute pier then. Um, the first one is free, influence-wise. Uh, let's get rid of the, the fisheries here. We can also have them on that beach here. That's a bit safer. Mm, this will probably... No, it actually works. Uh, the street will not work now. Nope. So I can't do it like that. Probably going just with that. then up to four that we also have there and then i could even have more here right so we can still go ahead with a couple of fisheries or also with a bunch of sand mines on this row here then if i want to uh we will definitely need to bump up these warehouses though so i'm going to upgrade that one once all of this is working there's going to be quite some traffic uh, this way i love this area here by the way beautiful the, in the, the industry zone in Admonster Mice is growing constantly. With that, we have this area available. We will also need a commute pier, of course, at some point here. Uh, a, a, a landing pier. And in this case here, we have the, the commute pier now working. This needs a direct beach area. And yeah, let's build it. That's a thousand on the maintenance cost, by the way. So these are 
not cheap by any means. The first one didn't cost me anything. The next one will probably cost me something. No, the next one is free as well. Perfect. So the first islands you connect are free. And then you actually have to pay, um, I think it was 25 influence per community here. We have them here. There's still some fisheries in the main harbor area of Sleepy Hollow uh, that we can move now over. So let's build another two fisheries here and destroy these guys here. We don't want that anymore in the harbor. By the way, there's constant fighting here in the harbor area. Those pirates, I tell you that. They're not even strong. And then we can have our commute to here. I just like a few resources. We just siphoned a lot of steel beams and reinforced concrete away. Right, but, 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 but. That is only temporary reinforced. Let's actually make a smaller key here then. That goes up. And then we might just have then more... storages again. Um, I could then also have my steam shipyard here. Definitely in the protected area though, right? So this has to be somewhere here then. I think also, yep, the next ship of the line we can commission. And I will definitely also need a clipper then again for these trade routes. A little bit later in the beautiful area of Sleepy Hollow, there's my steel wings coming in. And with that, we're able to build that commute pier. And with that, we have now shared the workforce between Sleepy Hollow and Admiral Smice, and I can go just crazy by starting now the flour mills and also the bakeries. Right, the grain is already in. And we can also actually go ahead with the resources we have to build those mold houses and those two four breweries that we have. Holy cow, my balance. The problem there is right now that we are also running out of rum. So this is another thing that we need to do. I'm pretty sure it's also a volume thing, right? Yes, totally. Both of those ships are fully loaded to 100 tons. So we just need to add another ship to this. And all things should be fine. No, I'm not kidding. All things should be fine. Let's go ahead and add the third ship to this trade route here. Now, Constance, it is. And off it goes. Cool, getting busy. All my piers are actually loaded right now. There's another clipper waiting, so we'll need another pier soon. I can't fill my way around that. With this, we have now... Yeah, we already have a nice comfortable surplus of beer there anyway, and of, of, of bread. So let's go ahead and delete us the bakeries. And the breweries with the mold house. More space. That's just so, so great for us, really. All that space that's popping up now that we have. Just think about the real estate value in the middle of the city there. Must be insane. I'm also going ahead just in case and bump up my rum production. Two more sugarcane plantations. And with that, also one... Two more rum distilleries, right? We're boosting the plantation cell on top of that. I don't have enough storage. Yeah, 150 tons is full right now. So we cannot upgrade that. Let's go ahead and actually, actually add us a few more uh, depots then as well. Bump up that storage to 350 now, doubling it essentially more. And with that, we have more rum in that we can then also transport over. Alright, other than that, I think we should be golden. Uh, we're just waiting now for a few building materials to come in still for the remaining copper mines. And then we can actually, we can start with the spectacle and the light bulbs production. And don't forget about trains. We will need those trains. Stay tuned.